Hey guys, Target Cycle on FPV, and I'm actually doing a quick little video here for a customer of mine um, that uh, had a broken uh, QX7, okay? So I'm gonna show you the screen here real quick. I'm gonna split this up. So let's do it like this. All right, so here's the QX7 right here. I'm sorry, the X90 Plus, sorry. Uh, so I've got an X90 Plus here, and um, what happens basically is that it doesn't function properly with the switch. The switch is broken, and it's not necessarily the switch that's broken, it's the uh, it's actual main board that's broken. And so what's happening is when you uh, plug in a battery, um, the uh, when it's off and you plug in the battery, it just starts vibrating nonstop and the screen will kind of flicker. And then, but when you plug it in and you have the switch on, it'll function okay. Uh, there's a couple little glitches there, but mainly it was that it functioned fine. It needed some software updates, but you couldn't turn it off then. If you turn it off, uh, the basically the system wouldn't shut down. So here's what I did. It's a real simple fix, and I'm doing this so that he can see also what I did. So I ended up modifying the back, right? So what you're going to see here is, um, let me see if I can turn this around. Okay, so I... I took this, um, this is an 18650 uh, 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 switched power supply, right? And so what I did was the end of it is actually terminated um, to fit into a, a 2S uh, plug. So it's going to function like that. Now there's two 18650s in here. And I'll show you that's where they are right there, right? So uh, what I did was I basically, real simple fix, I just put a, um, and the good part is he's got this uh, door plate here. So I decided to use this. If he had a, uh, if he had an actual module in here, I probably would have uh, fastened it somewhere in here or to the bottom plate. But in either case, it sat here perfect. It does have Velcro on it, so I can tear it off if I need to leave the module plate on there. Um, and then I just wired it in. So then what I did, and now this would have been used for light goggles. It's kind of an off-brand uh, simple fix for using uh, to, to get goggles to work because it's got a switch on it, right? So here's what I did. Uh, we're going to put this in here real quick. And I'm going to go ahead and put the plate back on, the, the battery plate back on. There, everything stays hidden, and then all you've got is just this little cable. You can tuck it in as close as you can there, right? But check this out. So the switch, uh, this box actually has a switch on the bottom of it. So what I did is I just come on over here, and it, and it actually makes for a pretty okay stand, but uh, I come over here, flip the switch on, and I'm back in now with no problems, okay? So everything's gonna be fine here. I got all my functions like normal, so we I did a full flash back on this, got it back up to 2.3.5 on OpenTX, and everything else is tested perfect to work, okay? So I've tested all the switches and everything. But anyways, I just kind of wanted to show you this um, because it was a real easy fix. Uh, and, uh, you know, the board itself to replace this to actually do the full repair, it's going to be like 80 bucks or something, right? And then you've got labor and all that. So with this, you basically cut a little port on the back of your battery plate, which uh, I did on this one. And then you can take the, um, the switching, uh, the, the uh, power box, and then you can take uh, two 18650s. So you're talking about minimal, like maybe 20 bucks to fix the whole thing or whatever it may be. And it's a great workaround when you're done with it. You can leave this switch on all the time now, that doesn't matter. But you'll get what I'm talking about. You'll see how the switch is broken because right now you see it on, right? Oh wait, you don't see it on. Let me switch this over here. Okay, so right now you see it on. See when I flip the switch, nothing happens, right? There's something, there's, there's a problem there between the board and the main board. And I actually have already replaced the main board, tested it out and found out it was that. Contacted FreeSky to verify, they did verify. But the customer, you know, I mean, honestly, for the age of the radio and everything, it just wasn't worth spending that kind of money. So this was an easy fix. So anyways, when you're done with it, you just come on over here and flip the switch off, boom, and you're done. And now the radio's back to normal and the power's off and you're good to go and you don't have to worry about any problems. So, all right, that's it, guys. It was a real quick fix. Just thought I'd share that with you all. Um, if you have any questions, hit me up at uh, targetcycle.fpv.com. And then uh, also please subscribe to our channel and follow us on Facebook. Uh, and uh, other than that, have a great weekend. Whoops, safe flying. Get my name off there. God bless, guys. Safe flying. Spend time with your family. You never know how much time you got left, so make the most of it, okay? Talk to you soon. Bye.